If you just want to install Google Analytics quickly and get it over with, then you found the right video. Start by opening up your browser. I recommend using Google's browser since this is a Google product. At the top right of the browser, you can see that I'm logged in with my Google account. If you are not logged in, then just pause the video and log into Gmail on your browser. Next, go into the search bar and type Google Analytics and press enter. On this page, you want to choose the top result or the one from marketingplatform.google.com. I'll also leave the link in the description. You just want to left click on it. Okay, now you're on the marketing platform information page. There are a bunch of buttons here to sign into Google Analytics or get started today. All three of these buttons go to the same place, so it doesn't matter which one you click. So I'll click just the get started today here. And on this page, welcome to Google Analytics. You just want to click the start measuring button. This is where we create our account. For the account name, you can call it anything you want. It doesn't have to be the name of your website. So I will name mine USA account and then scroll down a little bit under account data sharing settings. You can just check everything and then click next. Next, we will create the Google Analytics for property. I will name my property USA property and then select your reporting time zone and select your currency and click next. Here is where you will describe your business. In the business details, you want to select your industry category. I will select finance and then your business size, select how many employees you have and click next. Now you will choose your business objectives. You can tailor these options to your business. Basically, you can choose any combination of the top four or you can just choose get baseline reports. If you choose get baseline reports, you can only use this option by itself, which means you cannot select any of the other options. If you know what you're looking for, then you can unselect get baseline reports and choose any combination of the top four. I only need to get the baseline reports, so I'll click create. Now you have to agree to the Google Analytics terms of service. Place a checkbox in the two options and click I accept. Now you have to choose the platform that you're going to be collecting data from. We aren't using Google Analytics for an iOS app and we aren't using Google Analytics for an Android app but we are collecting analytics for a website, so that's our platform. Left click on web. Now we have to set up the data stream. Here is where we will enter in the website's URL. You should be using HTTPS, and then enter your website's name, okay, and enter the stream name or the name of your website. And enhanced measurement is automatically turned on. Just leave all the settings as they are and left click on create stream now. All right, close Google tag. On the web stream details page, you want to click view tag instructions. Here are the instructions that we need to add Google analytics to our website now. So, you have two options at the top. You can install manually or use the website builder. To install manually, you just want to take this piece of JavaScript here and paste it into either your footer or your header of your website or any piece of your template that shows up on every single page. And once you have the Google tag script installed on your website, then you can click the test button and that will let you know if the tag was picked up or installed correctly. For this tutorial, I'm going to use install with a website builder or CMS, and we're going to select our platform. I am using WordPress, so I'm going to choose the site kit plugin. And now we have to go over to our website and install the site kit plugin. I am now at my website on WordPress and from the vertical menu on the left, you want to look for plugins, hover over it, and then click on add new plugin. And in the search bar towards the top right, you want to look for site kit and hit enter. 
All right, and here is SiteKit at the time of recording. It has 4 million active installations and 841 reviews. Just click the Install Now button. Once SiteKit has been installed, click the Activate button and then go to your plugins page. We need to configure it now. And there should be a notification at the top of the plugins page. You just want to click Start Setup and just place a check mark in the box that says connect Google Analytics as part of your setup. Activate Google Analytics to track how much traffic you're getting and how people navigate to your site. And if you're not already signed in, sign in with Google. Now you have to select what site kit can access. Just click select all and then scroll down and click continue. Have Google verify site ownership, click verify. Now you want to turn on metrics in your dashboard, click allow, set up search console, click set up, set up Google Analytics, just click next, and you just want to verify the account name, that looks good, the property, and the web data stream. So these all look like the names that we gave them previously, and click complete setup. If this video helped in any way, please consider giving this video a like and a subscribe so that more people can find this answer.